All right, I see people are logging in. Hi, everybody. Welcome. We've got Tater here from Southside. Tater has Welcome. been doing all kinds of awesome web tutorials and volunteered to do one for us. And she and I are helping each other with a little bit of um, technology tutorials. We're, uh, we're learning some best practices together. So we're going to try to do a thing where I'm going to share my screen and um, I'm going to uh, stop when she tells me to stop. She's going to describe some things that we're seeing in terms of footwork on a roller derby video. Uh, and then uh, she's going to leave time for people to practice in between. So we're going to practice a, a, a series of moves. Is that right, Tater? Yes, that's right. Cool. So explain a little bit more about that. But again, everybody, just like we've been doing with these, all the questions go in the Q&A, not the chat, so I can feed them to Tater. All right. So we're going to get started. You want to roll the, the video? Sure. Um, so this is a video of, of some skater doing some fancy footwork to get out of a block. Um, and it's going to be number 20. So when you see number 20, keep your eye on her. Um, but what she's going to be doing is, footwork-wise, is she's going to be doing a juke, a mohawk turn, a toe stop slow, and then a shuffle on her toe stops, and then a toe stop run forward. Awesome, and Yellow Fever says, hey, I know this video. So this is it's a video. Yellow people... Fevers. Yes. Yes. <laughs> cool, so I'm gonna start the video. Let me know when to stop. Okay, start it. All right, so here goes number 20. There she is. She's juking. She's doing her toe stop shuffles and she's running, running for her life. And then a wonderful all four on the floor. We're gonna watch it again. Here she goes, jukes, turn around, stop, shuffle backwards and forward. And let's watch it one more time. It's gonna go in slow-mo now. And juke, turn around, toe stop, shuffle backwards, fighting to stay in the line, and then running for her life. And then she does a beautiful all four on the floor fall, which is great for beginners to see. It's, that's, how, that's how you fall. All right, so that's what we're gonna work on today. Um, we're going to start with something called balance calibration, and uh, it's just a way to just get your body balanced and ready to do all kinds of one foot, one footed footwork stuff. So um, for the balance calibration, we're going to start standing up and you are, if you need something, I want you to stand on something. I'm going to stand on this because my garage is on a slope. So I'm going to be rolling out of my garage doing this. But all we're hey, doing Tater. Is, yes. I'm going to have you back up about two feet so people can see your feet. Okay. All right. So balance calibration. Um, it's, I don't know what y'all call it, but it's just <clears throat> basically you're going to stand on one foot and you're going to do the ABCs all 26 of them at 12 o'clock, one o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, six o'clock, and seven o'clock. All right, so let's start with our right, our right foot and do all 26 letters of the alphabet. Don't skimp, do them all and and um, whenever you're done with that, move on to the next one. You're going to do six points, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 6, and the beautiful crossover right here at 7. So get started doing those. This should probably take about one song. I'm going to play some upbeat, hip-hop, royalty-free music. And we're gonna do this one. All right, let's get started. No, I'm gonna do this one. It is four minutes long. All right, and I'll be doing it too if you're confused about what it looks like. All right.
Lost internet connection. <laughs> Keep going. Don't skip. What this is doing is just getting your brain and your body calibrated for balance. Kind of like what you're doing whenever you're like standing on those video game systems that want to like figure out your balance before you start. Before you start skating and if you're new, so beginner, intermediate, it's really important to do this drill to just get your body calibrated to be doing all this one foot stuff. Woo! Okay, I'm switching legs now. Um, now we're gonna do right foot, I mean left foot. So we're gonna do 12 o'clock, all of the ABCs, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and all of them. There are 26 of them. So let's get going on 12 o'clock with your left foot. Okay, and nine o'clock. Things should be burning. Hopefully your butt and your ankles. This kind of means you're getting warmed up as well. So don't let it distract you from the end result of being able to derby when your legs and ankles are on fire. Okay, seven o'clock. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. I struggle with seven o'clock a lot. <laughs> okay, six o'clock. My ankles are on fire. That feels like all day we see these are. Okay, last one, four o'clock. In that beautiful crossover position. And um, I've been skating all my life, so I can do this without falling. If you're like struggling with your balance, don't beat yourself up. You keep doing this, eventually you'll get it to where you can stand up. And I'm even struggling to stand up. Woo! because my ankle is on fire. <sighs> okay, so um, we're done with that. And um, I like beginners and intermediates to always practice that um, until like you, you know, you're doing it and it ain't no thing. But it's, you know, I've been skating my whole life and it's still a wonderful warm up. It gets everything on fire. So, um, all right, we're gonna start with the toe stop drills. And we're gonna start with a stomp, stomp, step, step. Stomp, stomp, step, step. Can y'all see? Can you see you can me? Move back about a two foot again. Sorry, Tater. Okay. There Ooh. you go. Ah, uh, how hot. Is it in Portland? It is lovely in Portland, I hate to tell you. Um, it is about 65 <laughs> degrees. <laughs> cool breezes. <laughs> All right, so this is just a little warm up for your toe stops. Um, you've seen it on YouTube, I know. This is just a great warm up to get used to your toe stops. Your toe stops are your friends. So there they are, we're friends. We just calibrated our balance. We know where one foot is and the other. And what you're going to do is you're just going to do this for five minutes. 
And um, I want you to be light on your toe stop. None of this. Ugh, ugh. Like you're on this toe stop, you're getting ready to go to the next one. So be light. Be light, be light, be light on your toe stops. Because whenever you're doing those jammer skills, the ones that favor their toe stops, they're very light on their toe stop. And that's how they're able to like you know, transfer weight back and forth and be going that way. And then in a nanosecond, they're gone. So this is just to get you light on your toe stops. <sighs> All right. Any questions? If you can't handle this, it's hurting your feet. It's probably because your skates are not the right size, but if you can't handle it and you need a break, you can go ahead and type a question in. Ask me something, anything. And if we had music playing, I would be like, you know, dancing. <laughs> getting into it. Here, Tater, I'll play you a song that we like at Rose City, okay? <laughs> what was that? I'll play you a song we like at Rose City while you oh, do yeah. that. and getting your form right. So forward, and when you get to your, your line, I want you to shuffle back. Um, because in, the, in, in her footwork sequence, she was doing a shuffling backwards while they were trying to hit her out of the track. So you're gonna be shuffling back, but of course there's no resistance. And that's it for this drill, all right? So for five minutes, we're gonna do a walk, 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 shuffle, shuffle, back. Walk, 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 shuffle, shuffle, back. And this is why I like to dance, because it just starts turning into like a, a dance. Um, so if you can play some music, DJ Cassidy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have this one song, so I'll play it again. <laughs> do it. <laughs>
if this is killing your toes, then take as many breaks as you need. This is a five minute drill. Um, you're not meant to be like, you know, killing yourself. Um, I'm always watching my heart rate and I like to stay in fat burning, fat burning zone. That way I can talk. Um, our practices are always an hour. So I like to just keep it nice and low so you can actually work on getting your form right. Um, and then eventually when you have to do it on the track, muscle memory will come in and all the awesome things will happen and then hopefully someone like yellow fever will share it on the internet and everybody will be like "Ooh, ah, oh, look at her I want to do that how do you do that Woo. so we're just shuffling back also whenever you're doing your shuffle back practice different body positions. In the video, she was fighting for her balance this way. So when you're ready, practice like practice different body positions that challenge you. Back, back, back. Or or you could be like koala bearing a blocker over them, trying to get around them. So play with your body, your body position. Whenever you have like mastered the upright, and this is upright, upright. And if you're taking a break, you have any questions? Let me know. Peter, Ashley wants to know, how do you get over the fear of losing the ankle tilt and ending up on your wheels? How do you make sure it stays? Um, I would say go back to this. Like if you are not, if you're not, if you don't feel like you've mastered this, you don't feel like you own this, this move, go back to that. All right, so stay cool. here. It's so important. Make sure you're mastering these things. It's like math. If you miss something in math, when you show up the next day, you're lost. So same thing here. Come back to this. And then now basically you, you're doing this here with your shuffles going this way. You're just doing a side shuffle and you're moving backwards. Um, toes up, walk to the board. Um, I uh, see many, many sprained ankles on this move, but um, again, start here. And this is different. Walking here, um, I, I would actually just like start with here. And I have another um, workshop that talks of, that takes you through the process of the forward run, which we could do. Um, but it starts out with this. Get here, get low. Your hair, get low. Just get used to being in this staggered position first. This position, up, down, up, down. Find your balance and then start going forward. <sighs> Does that help? <laughs> <You're> great, Peter. <laughs> Just take, take it slow. I wish I could see people so I could see what their form looks like, but our intermediate skaters, this is, this is definitely um, a drill that, that scares me a little bit. <laughs> so I like them to go slow because it is very easy just to like lose your ankle there. Um, but do your warm ups, get those ankles on fire, and then if something horrible happens, you know, you're just out for like six weeks, you know, instead of like nine months. Um, <laughs> all right, so that was the walk forward and the, the, the shuffle backwards. Now what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to get it off of our toe stops. Now we're going to work on the juke and the mohawk turn to a stop. So it is going to look like this. You're going to push forward 
You're gonna stomp, stomp, push, mohawk turn, stop. That's all we're doing. So let's do it again. Push, stomp, stomp, go forward in a diagonal, all derby direction, and stop. Again, I'm doing one side, but if you are, you know, advanced or, or, or getting one side already, try to do the other side as well. But, you know, always master something first before you're like, I just want to do everything, left and right. But, so we're going to start with one side. Stomp, stomp, push, mohawk, stop. All right, so for five minutes, we're going to do that. If you have any questions, let me know. Play your song, play your song, DKK. <laughs> well, apparently we were, the thing we were worried about is true, Tater. When I play a song, it, it reverts to me, even though my video is off. Okay, okay. We'll yeah. figure something out. But obviously, like, I, I feel like I have lots to say, so this is good. <laughs> All right, you're resetting, rolling forward, stomp, stomp, and shoot in the other direction. Um, the stomp stomp is, is a juke, and I just like to say stomp stomp, so you're not all like mind effing yourself. Um, are there any juniors here? No. Oh! <laughs> um, but the stomp stomp, eventually, you're going to start feeling that juke, that all right, so that's gonna, it's going to look like that eventually. But you do start out here, stomp, stomp, go the other way. And I'm just gonna do it full out so you can see what it should look like in real life. Yeah. All right, and now I'm gonna go back to being cool. All right, ladies, if you have this side, like yellow fever, I know you got it, so make sure you're doing the other side. Forward, stomp, stomp, other direction, toe stop slow. And the other side. Oh, that was not a toe stop. Turn around. <laughs> Use your toe stops. And use your toe stops on these um, turnaround stops. Um, a lot of us are gonna be like wanting to do this move, the skater push. That's not what this is. I want you to use your toe stops. In the video, no. Just get. Out of dodge. So, stop your wheel stop. All right, that was fine. Okay, so we're going to move on to the next part of the the drill, which is really just putting it all together. We're gonna do everything we just did, the, the skate forward, the stomp, slash juke, the push, the turn, the toe stop slow. Now we're gonna add the shuffle and then the run. And uh, I'm, again, I'm gonna do it all super slow because we're doing it to master all of the, the body mechanics of what's going on. So, we shall start here. So same, 
same dance. Push, turn, stop, and shuffle. Which way do I shuffle? I shuffle this way, and I'm going off the camera. And then you run, run, run. All right. Get way back here. This takes a lot of space. Okay. So we're rolling forward, stomp, push sideways, and stop, and shuffle, stay in the line, and take off. All right, so we're doing like a, I think this is a zigzag we're doing. We're skating, juke, turn, shuffle, and run for your luck. Okay, so we're doing that for five minutes. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, if you're super proud of yourself, let me know. <laughs> and run for your life. All right, here, stomp, stomp, out, stop, shuffle, and run. Woo! Okay, I feel like the camera gets me better when I'm over here. So there we go. Roll, stomp, stomp, turn, toe stops, shuffle, and walk. Run. All right, I'm starting over here. And stomp, turn, toe stops, shuffle, and run. Tater, if you're low on traction at the moment of the juke, what's the technique to pull it off? If you're, if you're what? If you're low on traction at the moment of the juke, what's the technique to pull it off? If you're low on, on the track? If you're low on traction at the moment of the juke, okay. is there a good technique to pull it off to reduce the sliding? Okay, okay. Eh. Well, um, if you're slight, you shouldn't be sliding on a juke. Um, but again, that's, that's, um, that is, uh, um, so I, I have a drill. I have a drill for that. It's this. All right. But my concrete is kind of tight, but <clears throat> that's what you do. You get on that floor. You warm up, you feel that floor, and you just need to, again, get your body calibrated to what that floor is doing and figure out how hard you have to like press in to get your feet to, to, um, to stick to that floor. But I would say like, just, it's always about getting, getting warmed up properly and feeling that floor. But um, yeah, sliding on the track, it's just you got to put more weight into it and be be comfortable with with that with that weight and going back so starting here does that help that's a hard question <laughs> Run, run, run. Here, roll, juke, and run. All right, keep going. Oh no, my timer went off. All right, so that, okay. So that was it, that was the drill. Um, and those are the steps that you, you take to get, to get to that point. Um, I'll also post the, um, the drills and the steps that we went through on the event group. And I also have a video of this whole class. I'll, I'll post a link to that as well. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to get our, our teddy bear or something um, if you need to like start out with something lighter, like a, like a 
bandana or um, a like a handkerchief or something, start with that. Um, but if you're advanced and you, you're ready for it, just to get uh, something like a bean bag or a bowling ball. No, I'm kidding, not a bowling ball. So, um, teddy bear. And what, what we're gonna do is we're just getting creative with blocking. And I'm gonna move this up here now. All right, okay. So, I have my teddy bear. Um, and all you do is you just throw your, your thing up and you block it. And you're just gonna be working on all your footwork. And I don't wanna tell you how to get there, I just want you to get there. So some people like to shuffle um, or do this thingy, the skater push, or some people just like throw their hip out. Um, so do what you need to do to get your thing, all right? Um, and if you're hitting it, you're, you're succeeding. Um, all right, so all you do is just throw and come out. And I like to throw my hips up. So I'm gonna use my hip on this one. And I was stopping, that's, that's not legal. I would get like a penalty for that. So I'm gonna challenge myself a little bit and throw it in front. And there, I didn't get a penalty for that one. Okay. So, um, four, I have my timer set for five minutes. Let's go, let's work on um, hips. Swinging out that hip and getting your, your thing thing. All right, um, if you need um, extra, extra instruction on how to get something over here, I, I call this a hip reach. So you can just practice reaching with your hips. See, I'm reaching to touch someone with my butt, all right? It's not with this, it's not keeping it here. I'm like actually like coming out. So here, here, here. <laughs> all right, so let's do, um, let's do five minutes with hips. And hit your friends, because we can hit these, right? Everyone's loving this. <laughs> It's very therapeutic, um, kind of sad, but maybe one day, <laughs> hopefully in the near future, we'll be able to feel real bodies <laughs> and wipe our sweat and all our germs all over each other. <laughs> and then we'll go home and we'll disinfect ourselves before we give our families hugs. That's, that's, the, um, that's the rules here. We've already come up with a, a protocol for whenever we can return to contact. I'm gonna go practice, hit people, and I put stuff down in my car and go home, take my shoes off, take everything off, and then go straight to the shower and cook myself. And then, then I can say hi to my family, which I think is a great plan too, because before I would get home from derby and I'd have to do all kinds of stuff for people. But now, thanks to COVID-19, I get to say, hey, uh, shower time, don't talk to me. So <laughs> it's all good. And Advanced ladies, throw your teddy bear out of your box and try to get it. Um, but don't run into your boyfriend's truck or anything. All right, that was five minutes. We're gonna do um, um, another five. And now we are going to use our upper body to hit the bear. Um, you can do like, you know, just this, basic hit, or if you want to get fancy, try to get that, that um, can opener in there. So, you're going to throw your bear can opener, um, or throw your bear shoulder check. 
all right? Um, and, and I said, I don't want to tell you how to do things, but it's good to train your body to drive through. So hit that thing and move into the bear's lane. All right, so up and move. If you're not ready for that, just to, you know, if this is a challenge for you, making contact starts there. Just throw, make contact. Throw, make contact. Do both sides if you feel like you're ready. Remember, like, um, you always need to, like, just master something first. Don't, like, stress yourself out and be like, oh, I gotta be practice, practicing left and right everything. No. Get, get your strong side strong so you know what it feels like. And it's easier to mirror the other side once you've mastered your, your one side. But that's just me. I'm other trainers that feel different. But um, I always like people just to get it, get it good and then in obey. Go to the other side. All right, so we're doing shoulders, doing upper body. And um, I'm gonna try to do the can opener move because I really suck at it. Ugh. Okay. And just hit your teddy bear. Remember, throw your bear out of your little powder box. If you're rocking this drill, challenge yourself. Um, also, um, if you have resistance bands and you can hook them up to something, like tie it around your waist, anchor your resistance band down, and try to get your bear. Um, I, I use lots of resistance bands when I'm, when I'm training. Um, it like throws you off balance. It's just extra challenges for advanced skaters. Advanced and elite skaters. Um, just do stuff. Be creative to challenge yourself while you don't have other awesome sweaty bodies to practice on. Woo! Oh, I missed the bear. Woo! Upper body, upper body, we're hitting with upper body. I'm sweaty. It's really hot here. Um, it's like 300 degrees in my garage here. What, what's the temperature there? It's 65 degrees and breezy. 55? 65. -ish. Oh, 65. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's really nice. It's very nice. Oh. Y'all are so blessed. Hit your bear. Hit your bear. Oh, there is a an app out there that works on fancy iPhones. Um like iPhone 10. And up, and it's called Home Court, and uh, it, it has like little cones and stuff. It's really for basketball, but it is really fun to do. It's another one of those things you just go out in your garage, unplug your brain, and it sets up cones, and you can hit cones. All right, so that that was teddy bear hitting. That's that's all I got for for the class. Um, are there any questions? Do you want to learn anything else? I have like a whole nother 15 minutes. If anybody wants to see a demo or like a breakdown of something else, let me know. 
Other than that, keep hitting your bear. Um, I'm going to switch back to hip. Um, hips are important because this is the thing that moves people. <laughs> upper body, usually, like if I try to hit someone with my upper body, they just laugh at me. Um, so um, get your hips reaching, reaching, and practice skating and reaching. <laughs> Skate and reach. And I'm going to go for it. Oh, I didn't. That was a low block. That was a low block. That was wrong. Oh, that was a low block again. That's much practice to do. Sylvia Rath says that hitting drill was the most fun I've had since quarantine. Way nice oh, to be a brick wall. Yay! <laughs> if y'all have any other ideas on creative so solo blocking, please let me know. I will steal them and put them in videos. Hey, Tater, for, sh for both hip and shoulder hits, what yeah. are good ways to place your feet? You lead with your heels for both, but there are others. Well, okay, so whatever works for you. And, um, but for me, if I'm training you to skate like me, um, I'm here at shoulder width apart. Um, but it really depends on, you just need to practice standing and doing your hip reaches. Like, this is not good for me. I don't feel stable or powerful at all like this. I'm powerful here. And this is too much. Um, so, if you have long legs, oh man. Um, so, so, just practice, figure out where you feel comfortable here. And then with shoulder, upper body, I need to take my own advice. And figure it out too because I, I am not strong with upper body hits at all. Um, so you just figure out your feet. See they're here, 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 or here. And which way can you move? Um, and then then the whole like thing is like, do you want to, are you a toe stopper or are you just a shuffle? Um, or are you both? Um, so you need to like just figure out who you are. I definitely love navigating on my toe stops and jumping and all those things. Um, and some people that like, um, I grew up with toe stops. Some people did not have skate toe stops. They had rollerblades. So most are like this kind. They like to navigate like this. So you might be the, the roll in. Um, but, uh, so hopefully that helps. Just go back to basics. When you're asking yourself those questions there, like, how do I get there? Just break down the anatomy of all the moves you're doing. Just think about step one, step two, step three, and the whole picture. And, uh, you'll be able to, to, uh, figure out where your hangup is and just and work on it. But, like me, I'm just kind of like skating and using my toe stop for, to slow me down. So, but most of y'all are like, just, they'll do this to slow down. Um, I'll always use my toe stops. And then sometimes you have to use, you know, your wheels because it makes your team trust you more because when they see crazy getting on their toe stops or thinking, I'm gonna, I don't know, they just don't trust me. So, so it is good to, to um, be able to make your team happy by doing the same thing they're doing with their feet. But that's, um, that's because you're linked up in a wall with them. So it does help. Like, you know, if you're linked up with a bunch of girls doing this and you need to get over here to do that. <laughs> um, 
thing on the same type of footwork they're doing pose. But that's years and years of skating to be able to like put all that together. Um, what what else? Give me more questions. My teddy bear. Like we have a, like another. We still have like fourteen minutes. Fourteen more minutes of tater. <laughs> We can do anything. I'm a figure skater, a derby girl, <laughs> um, dabbled in some jam skating, but definitely don't look cool when I'm dancing. Um, so whatever, whatever you want to know, I'm, uh, I can teach you. I don't know if I can actually execute it, but I understand the proper body mechanics to do um, almost anything. Do we have any trainers, um, Rose City trainers on the group? We do. We have a number of people on the call that are saying they love your coaching style and are looking forward to seeing more of your videos. <laughs> well, trainers, to let me know what you what you want. You know, sometimes like you're you're training someone and they just don't get it, and then someone else tells them. And they're like, oh. Um, so if you're like struggling with things with your with your beginners or intermediate skaters, let me know. I, I really like break everything down into steps, just like what we went through to, today. And uh, it helps them, it helps beginners, intermediates really identify where what, what they're missing so they can work on it and then move on. It's just like math. Woo. Mira wants to know, can you do a breakdown of power slides? Power slide, yes. Okay, is power slide this thing? Um, right up backwards. Is that a power slide first? Mira, is that what you mean? Yes. Okay. Okay. Power slide. I have a whole video on this too. Um, so, power slide. Um, okay, so with um, power slide, the first thing you want to make sure you can do is scoot, scoot your wheels. All right, so we would start here with the scoot. Scooting. Scooting. I can't scoot a lot on this one. This is my weak side. Scooting. Okay, I'm scooting across the concrete. Swooshing. Swooshing. And the floor is so tight right now, but the more you get warmed up, you um you're it is start it is start sliding. So you start with edges. Um Okay, so we've confirmed we can, we can scoot, right? I mean, we can do this. It's going to happen. So once you've confirmed, you, you can scoot across, squish across the, your surface. This is how you end. Now we want to do edges. So I'm going to do it coming forward. So I'm skating towards you. I'm gonna do an edge. And right here is where I pull this foot out. And this foot is gonna do this. Woo! So you have to do an edge. So whatever, I'm, I'm on my left foot. So I'm doing a, a left to outer forward edge. So you see how my foot is going this way? You have to press that edge. Press your edge. And right when you get here, you're going to, this is called a three turn actually. Like you'll, you'll swoosh this foot that way. And then this happens. So 
Um, you go edge and basically all the action is right here on this foot. It's doing a three turn. Here, swoosh. Can y'all see that? <laughs> yep, we can see. And the swish puts you into that power flex. Here. Edge, turn, power flex. You're skating, press your edge, and power slide. See the swish? And it's called a three turn. Three turn, number three. Three turn, three turns of these things. You're here, and you, you swoosh back. It's called a three turn. We're actually doing half a three turn because you've already did your edge here. You're just gonna push it back. Um, and then you're doing your power slide. Yeah. So you could take cones, set them up, and turn and turn. Turn and just practice those edges because that is the thing. You're going to hook that edge and then it's going to send you into that amazing power slide. <laughs> so that is power slide. And I have a whole hour class on power slides too. Um, I actually need to get rid of this hook to be able to do a power slide. But, <laughs> and I'm not good at power slides either. I, I learned them when I started rolling them. <laughs> um, but you just keep practicing, press that edge and stop. And don't forget the three turn. Woo, the three turn is everything. It also helps you with your hockey slide as well. You're here. And on a hockey slide, you're basically doing a double foot three turn here and to the side. So down and that's hockey. And power slide. What do we use power slides for? And flat track, what do y'all what do y'all use power slides for? Is that just a way to just stop and get with your pack and get ready to oh get ready to brace, right? Yes, it's it's to get ready to brace. At least that's how I'm, I'm imagining it. So you're doing your power slide. Hater skates bank track, everybody. Yes, yes. Um, but um, but so you're doing this move, and I would assume you're doing it to brace a wall. So when you're practicing, do your upper body movements here, here. So get your like all your body mechanics in, in alignment with what you're gonna be doing when you actually do it. Um yeah. Woo! And try the other leg. <laughs> Once you've mastered the other, the, your strong leg. But um, I think it's for bracing. Is it for bracing? Everybody, what do you most use your power slides for? I think everybody's practicing. <laughs> okay, good. Practice, 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 practice. I'm practicing my other foot. So just so you know, I cannot do the other foot. It's very difficult. All right, four more minutes of tater time. Woo. So far, I've burned 379 calories. <clears throat> I think I've earned pizza. Hey, our flat track folks 
are saying bracing, general stopping, and turning quickly. And I mean, I see so many slides like that on the track. I'm not yeah. a skater. I'm the events person. Um, I'm a, yeah. I'm not a derby skater, at least. I do stopping roll. quickly. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's the way to. Oh, yes, it's a way to stop. And you're you're also down, and you're ready for someone to slam into you. So you're powerful here. You're waiting for contact. If you're stopping like this, like. You know, you're just gonna be mowed through. So here, you're ready for contact. You're ready to take resistance. Um, for me, I would be on my toe stops and being like stepping, stepping on my toe stops. Um, but yeah, 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 thank you. Tater, tell everybody a little bit about how they can find your videos and what the range of them is. Okay, you can find our videos at southsiderollerderby.com um, and all you got to do is just sign up for the email, email, um, the email list and we send them out every Monday and Wednesday right now. Um, also, if you, um, if you're not seeing them in your, in your inbox, just, um, send us an email and say, hey, I'm from Rose City. Um, I'm not seeing the emails and, uh, and we'll get you set up. It's a new like funnel system and it's not exactly working with me. So <laughs> some people aren't getting them. We're like getting, we're going into spam folders and then sometimes like um, Yahoo and Hotmail just aren't even letting our emails get into boxes. So if um if you have any problems let me know and i'll fix it because i'm also a web designer so i'll get in there and kick all those um google gods and hotmail gods butts and tell them no we're cool we're not spamming so um yeah um oh my gosh any other questions that was great fun are, that we, was doing awesome. again, are we doing it again saturday sunday Maybe so. Let me see what everybody thinks. And I, we are going to post all of this, just like our other content, to the YouTube channel. But I'll also include the link to the class that um, when Tater is teaching it when it's not interactive, so that people can share that as well. Yes, you do it at your own pace. You can push pause. Um, you can slow mo it, um, it at all at your own pace, and it's a great way to learn all by yourself without people watching you, if you're afraid of people judging you, you can get it all right at home and then show up and slay. Awesome, Tater. Everybody uh, was saying they were very impressed with how technical it was and, uh, and that some people think that their friends will definitely tune in if we do this again. So I think that's awesome feedback. All right, yay. Thank you for participating. Thank you, Tater. Have a great afternoon. Enjoy your evening with your family. Bye, y'all too.